Hello, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. SOS here. We're on episode number 17. Is that right? Um, <clears throat> let's just jump right in. We did a few things last episode, including stop a dragon fight, which we still need a debrief on. Um, and we still need to talk to Natty's mom on her behalf. So let's do those, get those out of the way, and then probably Shadow of the Mind. Yep, with Sebastian. Yeah, not sure which one yet, but either way, let's go. I've tried to kind of level up beyond where we are in the uh, in the stories. So a little bit OP going into the main missions. Did that on purpose. Because um, what good is it being OP at the end of the story when there's nothing else to do, right? But yeah. I also Does it get got any the more Imperial Curse. And created the talent to where Crucio will spread curse, which is nice to have. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin yeah. silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing the collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this okay. through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock. You seem and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more Better. details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Go for it. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. <clears throat> there you go. Down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Well, I'm now have this conversation with Natty as well. Who is back at Hogwarts? Um, she divination. Stairs. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I don't remember. I am it was. always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. Oh, but I'm mother! Be running her My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone 
one had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Hmm. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, oh. so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Hmm. I am curious. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Okay. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Yeah. Does it make sense? Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. Mm. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Mm. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? I just you could it. have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. Yeah, but I'm the main character. My mother cannot know where I am all character. the time. You could die at any Thank time. you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, I guess. All right, what's next? <clears throat> Don't know where to find a dairy cow. So, I guess I'll do In the Shadow of the Mine. I'll do this one first. I feel like this is next. Alright, I'll do this one. That's fine. I have to go all the way to the astronomy wing. And climb the astronomy tower. I was curious, so I'm going to find out where to find a dairy cow then, or if I even can find <coughs> South of Hogwarts and Lower Hogwarts. <coughs> Cambridge Blue Flame in the northwest, up onto a hill. Let's do that first, guys, because learning spells is... Priority one for me. Actually, I'm silly. If I had tracked this quest, I bet it would have shown me. <laughs> yup. I don't think it matters which blue flame I go to, but I'll do what they told me to do. Oh, the simple things that I forget. Oh, 
Oh no, it's already trash. Bells and make sure I had the right one out. But doesn't matter. We'll do that when I arrive. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay, yeah. I need the bag. Levioso here. Revelio. There they are. Got it. Assignments all finished. Revelio. Levio. I'll grab another one. I don't even know what you use those for, but it doesn't hurt to have a couple. Bigger. <clears throat> now I gotta go talk with. Uh, Professor Howard from Umbarda in the bell tower. We don't know about beasts. There's so much to learn. Oops. Sorry, Professor. Hey, guys. Excellent work today. <laughs> class dismissed. That was a quick class. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready I to... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Okay. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. I didn't now, promise anyway. you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Yay! Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, oh, shall that's why we? The pumpkins were there. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. All right. So, where to put this? One? Hmm. I don't know. I won't stay there probably, but I'll figure it out. <clears throat> oh. Hello, Hamor. See this here. Destroyed those pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent one work. 
cast a spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Hmm. Neat. I don't know how much you sell have for it. To be honest. But I have it now. It's nice. Oh, I did have a um, challenge. Class. Class cloak. Nice. All right. Glasses I'm not going to use. Let's go talk to Amit in the astronomy wing. Pretty close anyway. Yeah, I could put the dairy cows, dairy cows away, but I'm not really in a rush. Like I said, I don't even know what their ingredients do. Lumos. Not convinced they're gonna be super useful for me. I thought I would find you here. Hello there. Meet. Hello, all meat. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Yes. I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Okay. Uh, Lord go. Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Whatever. Ah, where is this mine entrance? Oh my goodness. Is not close. Ooh. Will this get me beyond? Look at all this space that I have yet to see. But there's phoenixes and rap horns over there, too. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, we could Revelio. bust out a quick Merlin trial. What do you have in store for me this time? Looking around. Seeing nothing. Oh. Ball. And down the hill should be somewhere to put it. I should investigate. Goodness, that's far. Okay. Grab these up. That's interesting. Oh. All right. Yep, that's where that was. Um. The 
Repulse for now. I don't even remember what I had there. Belly Armist, right? so early. Oop. Sorry guys, my controller disconnected for a moment. And it's back. Okay. You guys probably didn't lose audio, but I did for a moment. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. It happens every so often. All right, let's begin. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? No. An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. Uh, what do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to uh -oh. be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. <laughs> Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? Oh my gosh, my we gosh. need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Okay. That's I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. So, disillusionment? I so, shall see you soon. Leave no wit. Do either one.
Oh, the door is looking at us. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Ah. Yeah, I do assume this will take us out to the other side. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. All right. Rebellion. He's in way over his head at this point. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Incendio. For so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I mean, I agree. Pretty nice. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Mm. That did something. Rebellion. I've read about mines like this, but there's something else altogether. Long enough. Revelio. Are you not coming? All right, bye. Akio. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Revelio. Suit me, sitting around all day. Fine okay. tune. I suppose it could get a bit boring. So... Ranrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. Do oh, I already have Bombardus so while charge the man. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Swollen. Oh, goodness. That was a little more than I'm used to. Oh, yeah. Get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Do the, uh... Ugh. Eye doors again. Clever. <laughs> Being watched by a door. Revelio. Okay, how does one get up there? Send me. Got that turned off this water. Oh no, it didn't. didn't open that door. Okay. Rebellion. Fair enough. Yes, 
think. All right. I rebellion a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, our meat. See if we can find any plans. As up there, no. Bound to be yet. plans around here somewhere. Money. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Okay. You do that. Okay, I gotta go upstairs first. Go this way. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? There are my friend. Let's go upstairs and deal with these guys first. Let's hit this guy with an Imperial. Imperial. Oh. One that. Crucial. Yeah. Uh, ah. 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 That was not very good. That's okay. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. That's supposed to be a joke. Not funny. You can't stop us. This is more complex than I had expected. Incendio! Accio! Revelio! Gotta get up there somehow. Also this. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. We're gonna go up the stairs for all that. Oops. Hello. Watch out, it means. Also, you through a wall here in a second. <clears throat> Rebellion. Alright. All right. 
right, continuing further. Or not. Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Rebellion. Not that I need any moonstone whatsoever. Rebellion. Yeah. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Oh, she's not an entanglement we need right now. Uh, right. Lumos. Lumos. This is why we came here. Or hit me. Lumos. 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 Should be the last of them. I'll do either of those two beats. Ah, bring in Wild right there. Akio. Am I missing a furnace? Rebellion. Here, just to be safe. Oh, cool. not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found.
I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Doesn't seem like that's the way to go. Oh. Alohomora. But I had it. First. Revelio. Ah, here it is. What tools? Cool. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight, Revelio. Yeah. Ah, oh, and not gonna take me where I thought it was. Bummer. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, good for you. Had you. Yeah. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered that? the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will Is never forget. Sister? Without a moment's hesitation, well, no. she smiled and asked me to sit with her. Maybe it's this, uh... She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. Oh, she was certain it was way. made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. <clears throat> yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. <sighs> The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Mm -hmm. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. 
but I don't know. After that, Rabbit. something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. Hmm. No what that. you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. You're okay. Thank you. Cool. All right. Maybe this is what you have to do, or this. Like, I just want to go over to that poof, but I hit a wall over here. This looks yeah. intriguing. Following the road, if it takes me there, I forgot to come back. Let's travel a bit faster. Blow up a red barrel with him, or to hit a troll with its own boulder. Two enemies air. Oh. Hmm. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk. Imperial. <laughs> Someone there. Accio. Ah, Incendio. Ah. Petrificus Totalus. Might as well do this until he... Incendio. 
Summon. Very helpful. Accio. This batch. So this is how you. There's a pass. Learn the error of your ways. Revelio. Is this place? Bombarder. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh. 
don't think so, buddy. resource indeed your field guide i'm most pleased to be included Back to this compass was dropped here it's probably wandering through whales now okay no. there's only one way to get into this area why i haven't been here so rebellion beautiful I guess I get all the food flames. safe to explore in there. I mean, why not? Tomb of Treachery? Okay, yeah, we'll leave that be for now. What else do we have around here? Think of all of them. Why haven't I been here yet? Just assumed I couldn't. Was that a city? These rocks.
the den. Phoenix Mountain Cave. Can't go in there. Oh, so this is a mountain. Okay. Well, I'll hit this one. Is that a spider den? Leave that be. This is a different kind of coastal mine. Oh, this day's gone on too long. Alright. What are you up to now? Right. This place is surrounded with enemies. Should investigate. Let's go this way. You can't fly up and out of here. Yep, I already found those. It takes me right through the den. Check. We can destroy 
Oh. Those are pretty meaningless. And <laughs> get another one. That's cool. So you can only disapparate somewhere you bend or somewhere you can see visualize. That's a little not that I can disapparate at all, mind you. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. You only mm. have Van Rock to blame. This is interesting. What's this place? This looks intriguing. Rebellious. What is down here? Edge of the world. any value. So if I'm into that here, I should probably this. Don't worry about me. Just passing through. So if I'm close enough to the ground, I can go this fast. Is that what I'm gleaning from this? I want to get it up in the sky. Less so. stately in his time. Your pockets after you're dead. Okay. I'm um, not gonna hang around to find out.
job or not. Never know. And we wooded this place. Okay, another one. Side quest is in here. Rescuing rock. My quest is honestly again be doing this between episodes in the shadow of mine. Well, I don't think I have time to complete that necessarily, so let's see what challenges that I have in combat. Ooh, maybe I'll Here to sell. No. Those are nothing new there. All right. Well, let's um, let's get the rest of these food things. What do we have here? Skeens. On the wrong side. Quest man and tape. Side quest here first. Boom. As I keep close enough to the ground, I get this into the turbo. about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Oh, 
oak truckles berries, and even an auger. Don't chit chat, I just want to sell stuff. Excuse me, Madame Navarro. Bella Navarro. May I help you? What is it you sell, Madame Navarro? Potion ingredients, mostly. There's a tidy bit of profit to be made from the most unassuming things. I assume you've studied potions at Hogwarts? Professor Sharp's class, yes. Then you should know enough to appreciate my inventory. What do you have for sale? Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. Oh, some of those, some of those are nice. I can't find them elsewhere. That's not right here. Ooh. Yeah. Not interesting. Aren't you sweet? Yeah. I'll be happy to take this off your hands. Guess I'll sell that. I'm not wearing it. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> I won't sell that until I identify it. I probably won't be wearing it anyway. Thank you. Thank you for your time, my sweet. All right. Oh, I press there as well. Problem with ash wires. We should get that trapped. All right. Let's go. Time to figure out this room fight. This looks like trouble. A couple infamous foes around here. Okay. Just about done for the day, so I wanna get a tiny bit more accomplished. Already sold a bunch of things, we could head over to the room of requirement and take care of our beasts. Uh reveal our gear. Fly over the ocean. Woo These guys, Ashwinders. They come after me. I'll stick them on the front barrel. 
Alright. Pop these balloons and then fast travel. if I'm not careful. All right. That's a good bit of exploration done today. Beasts. Oh, um. Send up. idea what these feathers are gonna do for me. That's over to this one.
go. thing. This is how it works. Start with the brush. Because they're trying their way to oops. They're on their way to get food anyway. And then once you've done a big chunk, you can then summon and take care of the time but it's definitely worth doing because then look at your inventory uh, and yeah that's how you get you know ancestral hairs toad wards unicorns Niffler furs I don't have many puff scheme furs moon calf furs I've got enough Grades for days. I'm all set up. They do it. Not many of these feathers. <clears throat> now I have deer call set up in the new vivarium. So, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed the episode, and we will see you next time. Bye.